Three of them back to abandoned ship. So, um, let's go try out our new fancy. Ooh, is that a. We should go do that first, right? There we go. Alright, so now we should go back and deliver the rest of the maps, right? Uh, magistrate? No. Explorer's Guild. There we go. Collect money. Could we get somebody new in? Um, another f fighter or a gunner would be good, I guess. Oh, this guy actually has some good tra traits. Spider Slayer. Meh. Poisonous Gas. Increased time to survive in water. Um, I wouldn't mind getting you. What's this thing? No, it just popped up. Reload. Ah, okay, cool. So what's this then? Navigation. Hmm? You know what? Let's get you. We have an extra fighter, so it seems uh, like it would be worthwhile. Okay. Try to port straight back to sea. Let's go check out the diving bell. Hints of a wrecked ship can be seen through the water. This sort of task the diving bell was made for, although that doesn't make a salvage up any less risky. Will you explore the wreckage? Yes. So much down there. Take several trips to bring it back up. You ignore the feeling that you're emptying the pockets of a dead man and focus on all the valuables you acquired. Yay, it's paying for itself. Alright, let's go um, check out some stuff. Two ships trading fiery blows will never become visible in your distance. One of the ships is crumbling fast, the other looks relatively undamaged. Both ships wave signal flags in your direction. One ship is big for help, so the other signals a share the spoils if you don't intervene. Alright, let's be the good guys. I mean... Mm. We don't know who the bad guys are, right? Um... Okay. Ship breaks off from the shack and flees. You sail over to the vessel you rescued. Oh, good. I got nothing. Well, I made a friend at least. You join near to the rescued ship and see the crew busily patching it up. The captain either can't or won't offer more than thanks and to help repair your own vessel. From all the damage I took in that fierce combat, I would imagine. Um, what do we have? There's a dead guy floating there. <clears throat> We're at full crew, so... It's a little unfortunate. Um, go here, here, here... Yeah, right. Plenty of stuff to do, huh? Why do I always keep clicking that one? Uh, he's put a castaway and make towards me. He's pulled on, on the deck, but doesn't look hopeful. He's not dead yet, but he's on the edge. Uh, let's just do this. I suppose this gives us a bigger chance of saving a crew member, but we're full. Then you're quite sure what to do, and you end up taking it in turns, pushing down the chest, attempting to force the water out. Doesn't work every end the hour. He is dead. Good thing we have a lot of morale, right? We kill them. And we pay much attention to the other ship until they began signaling that they surrender. It's not like you were acting particularly aggressively, but they must have assumed the worst and wished to avoid any conflict. You are no pirate. Also, that timer is actually ticking up quite quickly. I don't think I can do anything about it, though. We don't have any um, cult encounters here that I can see. 
So you're moving in range before you know it, they've opened fire. Lucky shot destroys the helm section. You need to perform some mid battle repairs before it would be usable again. You bastards. Okay, you get on. Guns. Hey, we're actually first for once. Not by a ton, but... It's something. Okay, I'm gonna need you to go to this one next. We're soon gonna be able to ram and whatnot. Close enough to be able to use this, right? Oh, did I actually... Oh, are these my two swivels then? Grape shots, I mean. Yeah. Well, that wasn't the intended way to go about it, but now that we know that's a thing... So we could switch to grape shot now, or you know, you're telling me I can't board it this way? That's stupid. Just bored. Um, I'm sorry, I thought I could just hop aboard here. Hello. I'd like to I can't board. That's just stupid. <laughs> I can't board them. Like, uh, you know, I know you want to, but mm, can't allow that. This is just dumb. Can I really just not go... nope. Why is that? This 
this silly? Is it because I'm turned around? Let's let's turn around again and see if we can board then. I'm not getting this. By capturing this vastly, I would love to, but somehow the game is just going, nope. Yeah, I just can't do it. What the freaking fudge. So basically, I'm losing this fight quickly because boarding. Nah, we don't do that anymore. Um, oh, now we can. But why? We lost a lot of hull for some reason. Who's time to go about looting new empty vessel? We time for celebrations later. Right, okay, but could you tell me why I couldn't board earlier? Okay, first things first, we need to put some people. So do I want to keep those two? I think I do, right? I mean, the great shot's fine and dandy, but I think the sooner we can board, the better our lives will be, right? So, yeah. Um, cool. Okay. Uh, stuff there let's go maybe it was like an event no we could board afterwards there's a lot of weird stuff going on uh look out his keen eyes spotting the surface of the water a long way behind you look through your spyglass and confirm several water trails gaining on you something moving that quickly can only be the halifron I've time to launch a few rounds at them, and although most are wide of the market, seems to have done a good enough job to scare them off. I mean, this is a quote-unquote boarding event, so I don't think you actually get anything out of it. So how bad is this? I wonder. Dead Man Spire. And of Dead Man Spire is covered by gibbets, swaying slightly in the coastal breeze. Most contain skeletons covered in rags. The flesh lung picked clean by carrion birds. Some contain oxygen that yet live. Only the worst criminals are incarcerated here to serve as an example to others. You've no doubt some are less than deserve their prison thanks to the corruption of local officials. Nothing stopping you from freeing one of the your crew. On your head be it. Nope. They're there for a reason, we're gonna keep them there. It's this checking through your supplies for a small goldfield purse. Someone must have studied here for safekeeping and not retrieve it before it was transferred to your vessel. Okay, so are we done with this area? No. Still that. We might want to go back to port and uh the Headache warns you something is coming, that trails that surface in the water confirms suspicion halifron incoming. Alright. So, meaning you can escape? 
There's more of us than there are of them, but I'd rather not have them explode. That was it. That wasn't too bad. Out front of you in their sights, there's little that can be done, but to fight them off, you've managed to do that on this stage. Oh, and that completely resets it. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, moving on. Moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. Setting the range of a stationary vessel, you can see that they are in trouble. The crew are desperately pumping water from the ship, but there's not enough of them to also fix the all the hull cracks that are scattered across the deck. Don't give me a crew kill, though. The race towards sinking ship are predicting the worst of every passing second. Within moments, the ship is sinking. So for survivors, blowing find among the wreckage are a few pieces. A valuable salvage. Didn't take a morale hit, so at least there's that. Alright, let's fully repair our ship. Everything that's cool in here. Ship Smasher. Mortar shell hits the ship with such a force that triggers a brace for impact test. Modeled hull section and crew damage. Can I compare this to the one I have? It's I have this one, right? High hull and section damage. Uh, I think I might hold on to this one, uh, if I'm being honest. Uh, can we get, like, upgrades? Let's see. Oh crack. Another performance upgrade, but on what? I mean, these two are the most important bits because we can't upgrade. Oh. Endurance. Mm, nah. <clears throat> Let's go. Um, you could check where we where we need to go here, so it doesn't matter where we go, I guess. Uh, let's take the upper path. We had to work for that one the most, apparently. But we could go right as well. Let's go up. We got plenty of supplies. So we could quote unquote privateer here, but my would be right should be able to follow this to port at least well, we get another lighthouse that'll work too faction occupies this map feeding any guarding ships or sea fortress that belongs to this faction will reduce their influence once the bar is empty the faction boss will be dispatched destroy that and the faction will be removed vacating vacating coastal defenses cool Well, let's go check that out, shall we? I haven't done a coastal fort yet, though. Let's just do this, right? Barling Vessel makes to intercept you weapons ready the moment you stray into their path. Show them you're no common interloper. Did they just miss? Nope.
I think it would be slightly easier to catch up to them. Uh, they got four people. None of them are actually good at melee. I think we can take them. If you board straight away. Okay, let's stay at this distance. You three go heal before we board. May as well ram them, I think. Here comes the third. Third. Right, let's go. There we go, that was pretty simple. Yeah, I like this idea. As long as our crew is better than theirs, having the two uh, chain shots on one side is uh, definitely a good way to go about this. Uh, we don't need repairs, I think. Diving bell. Second so vessel lies beneath you, such yeah, sure. And he's dead. Grimma yanked a chest free of part of the wreckage and really brought down a chunk of the atrophied hull, putting him fast. He managed to struggle free but not without physical cost. Thankfully, they had the presence of mind to retrieve the chest before returning. So, what's up with this guy now? I think this means I can't use him anymore, right? Two, five, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we can't. So we need to get to a port where we can revive him. Okay, where's the port? There. Uh, we got money for that. I suppose I could replace him for another crew member, maybe another fighter. We already have a navigator, so. We do have another fighter. We do not get anything from this. So if we get... He's 170. I kind of want him. Um, then I'll probably get rid of you then. Set your position. Still don't know which is better. No, let's just keep them there. That's fine. Um, save that. Okay. Let's. Proceed. Wheel rope snapped, leaving the helm useless. You set to repairing it, but for all the intents are dead in the water. When it's predicting when the ship moves in range, you watch them, unsure whether they mean to help. It seems they're watching too, and once they establish a predicament, move into attack. Is that the second time that thing breaks before we get to do anything? Oh my god, it is. And they're cowards too. Uh, come in, 
able to get you. We are so coming to get you. Whoa! The entire ship just exploded. Only four. They got two fighters. So do we. There's a second guy somewhere, but I can't really see him well. Here's Johnny. Right for impact. Hi there. Heard you were talking shit. Um, you just go there, you join, you fix this before we sink. They got their fighters first. Cool. All right. Probably go after the uh, thing. Approach the vessel, sails tatter, drifting with no obvious purpose. Oh, wait, so navigate means avoid in this case, not. Ah. Dang it, sorry, lads. Uh, look out calls down for the crow's nest, called vessel seen in the distance. More details are shouted down about the incoming ship. It appears the enemy ship is more powerful than you. At this range, escape is still an option. No. We're big boys. As long as they don't have to... Yeah, they only have four people. Right? How bad could it be? He says before they all die. Positive thoughts. And they do have a med bay. I'm not sure if they're going to use it. What the hell did you... Just what did you do to him? No idea. Oh, it stops them from doing stuff, it seems. Okay, I'm gonna aim for these guys, because those are the most dangerous. Not sure if it's wise. Well, mm. they haven't done any damage as far as I can tell. So we could wait until they send in this guy, kill him, and then safely deal with those. Yeah, why don't we just stay here for a bit? You are fiery to fire. No, you just fell on the floor. Okay. Could turn around and start using the grape shop, but we all know how well that goes. Um, I wouldn't mind if they sent out their melee guy, though. Really wouldn't, but if we can harm him this way, then I'm... I'm fine with that as well. Come on. Okay, there he goes. Quit your whining. 
Okay, let's go. Deal with that guy. Cool. Navigator, get back. They're there. Hello. Wait, what? I got this one. Ugh, fine. Who who took a dive? It was one of the one of my gunners. We have to be a little bit more careful on this one now. We have to do this in a few go arounds. Uh, maybe not. Might be good at fighting, but it is 2v1. No, no, it's 1v1. Whoop. All right. Stronger than us. <laughs> My buttocks. Can I help but get a sense of satisfaction from your, your aggressive stance coming to fruition? Your crew scout empty ship for anything of value. Nice. And I think on that side note, we can probably end this episode here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you still enjoyed the series. So, free shows probably coming like you or something. If you're already, we'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.